question number nine of paper one is a very simple question because it is based on the dimensional analysis which we used to do all the time in physics. It is a simple question, and in the in the in this case, by uh, in in place of assuming m, l, and t as a basic unit, they, they assume Planck's constant, speed of light, and universal gravitational constant as a basic unit, and they have asked us what is the dependence of these three quantities on m, l, these thing. So obviously we can solve this. We can write down m is equal to h ki power x, c ki power y, and g ki power z. And by comparing dimension on both side, we can find out the value of x, y, z. Similarly, we can find out l is equal to h ki power a, c ki power b, and g ki power d. And we can find out the value of a, b, d. And if we find out the value of x, y, z and a, b, d, it can clearly see the answer of this question is a, c, and d. Question number ten is a very basic question of simple harmonic motion, but they have given graph of p versus x, where p is the momentum and x is the displacement from mean position in two cases of two simple harmonic oscillators, and their energies are e one and e two respectively. By this graph, we can clearly see the amplitude of the first or first oscillator is a, and the maximum momentum is b. So we can say that b is equal to, which is the maximum value of momentum, is equal to m a. Omega one. This is the value of p one in the first case, and the energy e one can be written down half m because the amplitude is a a square omega one is square. And for the second case, the maximum value of p is r, and the maximum value of x is r. Any amplitude is r, and the maximum momentum is r again. Then we can say r. If this p one is b actually r. Is equal to m omega two into r, and its energy e two, which is equal to half m omega two square into r square, and they have given a relation a by b is equal to n square, and a by r is equal to n. Now it is a simple question of manipulation, mathematical manipulation. You put the values. B and E and get the ratio and we can definitely get the ratio uh, of omega one, omega two, e one, e two and by com computing all of them, the answer of this question would be B and D and that would be the answer. Yeah. Question number sixteen of paper one is a simple question of parallel combination of two resistors. They have given a bigger aluminium cuboid and In there is a cavity, and the ferroscopic cuboid is fitted in this. So these two capacitor from these two resistances from this point to this point are in parallel. And obviously, we can get the value of R net is equal to R one R two upon R one plus R two. In that case, we have to find out the value of R one and R two separately. First, we consider the aluminium, the bigger one. The area, because we know the resistance of the uh, resistance of any conductor is given as rho L by A. Length is 50 mm, and area of the aluminium is the bigger area minus smaller area, which comes out 49 minus 4, which is 49 minus 4, which is 45 millimeter square. 45 millimeter square. And by putting the value of R, we'll get the value of R is equal to 30. Micro, 30 micro ohm. Similarly, if we consider for the ferrous, the resistance comes out because its area is clear cut, four millimeter square. Resistance comes out, 1250 micro ohm. And this is R2. This is R1. By putting the value of R2 and R1 in the R net, we'll get R net is equal to. One eight seven five divided by sixty four micro ohm, and that is our answer. So, answer this question would be B. Question number seventeen is based on the photoelectric effect. They have asked us to draw the graph of between stopping potential and lambda and stopping potential and one by lambda. We know E V naught is equal to S C by lambda. Minus phi. 
where V0 is the stopping potential. If we try to draw the graph for V0 and lambda, so it would be a hyperbola shifted. So answer of this part will be A because in the case of A and B, A is the hyperbola and B is the straight line. So A would be the answer. In the second case, they have asked us to draw the graph for V0 and 1 by lambda. So if we assume V0 as Y, so EY is equal to HC, 1 by lambda can be considered as X minus 5. So it would be a straight line with positive slope. So the answer would be C. So the complete answer of this question would be A and C.